Hello everybody! I'm Melissa. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the skin, the face, how I do my skincare. So if you're interested and you would like more content like this or of me, then just subscribe to my channel. Don't mind all these hand motions. I was just trying to explain myself on what this video is going to be about. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. First thing I do is tie my hair because it's super duper long. So I'm taking a hairbrush and detangling it, it, detangling it, it. I cannot get that. Okay, whatever. Tying it up and continuing. I don't wear makeup every day. I literally only wear concealer, mascara, but for the days I do, I use a Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. And if it's a simple look like this, I'll get away with one pump, but if it is a lot of makeup, I'll use two pumps. I just put it into my hands, rub it into my face, and it starts off as an oil, but when it touches water, it turns into like a milky, watery consistency, which you're just supposed to wash it away, which makes washing my face 10 times easier. I usually use a paper towel to dry my face because I'm going to be using another product. The only problem I have with this cleanser is that I always have mascara right under my eyeballs and it gets annoying but I actually like using this second product because it just moisturizes. It's a Pons cold cream cleanser, moisturizing, deep cleanser, and makeup remover. just removes the excess product I have under my eyes and as you can tell, I'm almost out of it because I've had it for a while. I just take it under my eyes, rub it in, and use that same paper towel I used to dry my face to take it all off. And you can use this all over your face, which I did for a long time, but after a while, it started making my skin look greasy. It like the finished look was looking greasy and I didn't like it, so I just use it under my eyes to moisturize. Now that my skin is dry, I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture African Black Soap with Shea Butter. And this is for troubled skin, but I feel like it helps me prevent pimples. And sometimes I do get pimples, but that's because of my diet. But I just really like this because it doesn't leave my skin dry and I like how it feels. And it's been my ride or die since like 7th grade, so if I stop using it, I feel like my skin will change drastically. I don't really exfoliate, but if I ever do need it, I use the St. Eve's Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub because I don't use any spinning brush, but I just thought I'd mention it. But for toner, I use the Thayer's Witch Hazel Alcohol-Free Toner, and this helps a lot. I only use it at night. It has aloe vera and rose petals, and I just use a cotton round to put it all over my face. To moisturize my face, I use the Zetafil Moisturizing Lotion Face and Body All Skin Types and this just moisturizes my skin and yeah, I just put it all over my face day and night. I only use eye cream in the morning but I just use it for the sake of the video. This is the Origin Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and Endy Puff. And I like this stuff. It makes my under eyes feel so good, refreshing. And I like to use this before I do my makeup and whenever I don't have makeup. And I just wanted to point out the position which I was recording the whole video. It wasn't like a good position, so I'm sorry about that. As a final step, I use rose water just to lock everything in and make sure my skin is moisturized and it also makes it look a little glowy. 
so that was pretty much it for this video hope you enjoyed it and yes i do this every day because i like to have a good base for my makeup whenever i put on makeup hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like this video and see you in my next video bye that bye was really awkward bye